reporting for TTN HD Production Live here with producer Jay Todd Harris. What inspired you to get into the film business? Well, first of all, before I tell you the answer to that question, I was going to say it's nice to see you again. <laughs> I hope this will become an annual event, but in a couple of years you'll be doing it for E! or you'll be doing it for NBC or like HBO. Uh, or you'll be in a show for HBO. Anyway, um, uh, so it's nice to see you again. Thank you. Nice to see you as well. Um, what inspired me to get into the film business? Um, I always liked uh, entertainment. I liked plays when I was growing up, and I liked plays in college, and I liked um, putting on concerts. So um, when I was graduating college, and then, um, I got a job running a theater company, and I loved it, but I decided that um, I wanted a bigger audience, so I was driven to explore films. And, um, and, and frankly, if I wanted a really big audience, I would probably be in reality TV. But, um, <laughs> but I still like the storytelling. I like the two hour storytelling or the 90 minute storytelling method. And I, I don't mind or I, s I have an affinity for pulling lots of artistic endeavors together, hopefully into a greater whole. So, and that I realized I couldn't be an actor because I was gonna be too short, too dark, too Jewish, too, to Dustin Hoffman, not enough Robert Redford. You know, I was, it was going to be a lot of problems. So, What are the favorite moments of your career so far? Um, marrying my wife. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my favorite, the favorite parts of my career uh, so far, I, I really had a fun time when I met you last year and went to the Oscars right after that. That was really um, a really fun time. Um, and uh, I got a huge trouble. My first movie ever was a tiny little movie called Denise Calls Up, and it went to the Cannes Film Festival, and we stayed on a yacht, and we stayed in the south of France, and it was a really, really fun time. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> dog, my dog in the shot? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I feel like gold, gold finger. Um, what was that? Cro Cro Crooked Arrows has been a lot, you know, the most recent film I did was a lacrosse movie, mm -hmm. National Sport of Canada, yeah. okay, and um, uh, <laughs> it, it was fun, it was fun, it's, you know why, like, you know why that's fun, because there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a group of people very excited to see the movie, mm -hmm. and, and when you, you know, if you'd made The Hunger Games, that would be fun, because there's a group of people excited to see that movie, but, you know, for, especially for this lacrosse movie, there's never been one so people are super excited about that. Um, and it was fun, it was a lot of work. It was, it was too much work. Sometimes producing is too much work, okay? <laughs> Tell me a bit more about Crooked Arrows. What is it about? Well, Crooked Arrows is the first lacrosse movie ever, which is very exciting. Um, and uh, it's, it's about, uh, it's a classic underdog movie, not unlike um, Mighty Ducks or Hoosiers or Bend It Like Beckham or Rudy or, Remember the Titans. It's that kind of a movie. It's about a Native American high school team playing in upstate New York um, and getting beaten by all the prep school teams, and they get a new coach. <laughs> what is the focus of Branded Pictures Entertainment? Well, uh, I um, Branded Pictures Entertainment is still in its in its teenage, its early youth, if you will. It's still just finding its way, but the idea is that. M the, the type of entertainment that's really getting a lot of attention and a lot of reach worldwide is, it, it, is um, movies and games and uh, other media that's based on a brand. Spider-Man, Batman, Superman, any man, really. But uh, uh, <laughs> <coughs> anyway, uh, but, but those types of movies, or, or Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, or and even, even something silly like this Dark Shadows movie coming out with Johnny Depp, everybody wants a brand. So branded pictures entertainment is an attempt to focus on that need and by uh, going out and uh, getting uh, branded entertainment that people might have forgotten about. I, see, I don't think there's a lot of people waiting to make a Dark Shadows movie, but suddenly Tim Burton and Johnny Depp thought it was a good idea, and now it's going to be new again. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the exciting thing, is to take a dusty old brand, take the energy to get it, which is usually a pain in the neck, uh, uh, develop it, put together the money for it, and then entertain millions of people. So that's what, I mean, I, look, I'm so happy I got to make, you know, or have 
some part and the kids are all right, you know, I really am glad about that. That is not branded entertainment. That is that is lightning in a bottle. It's a needle in a haystack. That's a once, you know, uh, every, you know, once or twice a year sort of phenomenon when an independent film can strike that kind of a nerve. What advice would you give to aspiring producers? Um, I, I think you should, uh, first of all, you should just produce something instead of talking about it. You, you know, I came to LA in 1986 and I didn't make my first movie till 1994. And I don't, reg I don't regret it. I had a really good time. I learned a lot of things. But I think, um, I wish I'd produced movies when I was, before I was 30 and I didn't. So uh, I would also say that now more than ever, um, think about who's gonna see your movie. Because yeah, I made some movies, some movies, I, like maybe the first 32 movies I made, I was just, let's make a movie. And then finally I, I just said, you know, maybe we should think about who's gonna see this movie. Because I got lucky a few times, but I didn't get lucky a few times. And now I, I wanna be lucky more. So I think if you start thinking about who is going to see, who, what's the audience for your movie? Who is the natural audience? Who's the audience you can go and get? How are you gonna get them? Put marketing money into your budget. Pl you know, plan for marketing. Because a good idea without marketing um, often winds up on the side of the road. And where's the best place to check you out online? Well, um, like most people in the film business, you can find me in IMDb. Uh, but I do have a website. It's called Branded Pictures Entertainment, all laboriously spelled out. BrandedPicturesEntertainment.com. Um, and uh, usually I put up new articles every month there. And there's a little reel that I made. And, and it, you know, it's, it's just following along the projects that I've got in development. And right now, you can certainly see me uh, on Facebook, J. Todd Harris, and uh, anything Crooked Arrows. So. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Jay Todd, and best of luck with your upcoming film. Thanks for coming. It's nice to see you. Thank you. Nice to see you, too. I'm Katie Allman, reporting for TTNHD Production Live.